Oh my gosh. Penguin gens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this one's tough, Miss Chapel. <laughs> Good job, friends. Thank you guys so much. Good that job, was so friends. Much fun. That was good. We got our workout for the day. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey there. How you doing? Hi, Miss Maurer. Hi. Welcome to Laura Bush. Thank you so much. Let me show you around. Here. Great. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hello. We're finishing up an independent study project on rainforest animals. Ooh. Very good. What makes my rainforest animal so unique? So what grade? These are second graders. So tell me about your your awesome, unique animal. Uh, First, what is it called? The ant butterfly. Ant butterfly. So it is a mix of what? So like a mix of an ant. Love it. And a butterfly. Cool. Wow, I like your information about it's a predator and what it eats. And the death sloth is a. What's that one? Carnivore. Carnivore, which means it what? Eats. It eats me. Like Very good. Can't Love that mashup. Goes. Creativity. Fantastic. <laughs> I love going into Quest just because you never you know, know what you're going to do. You know the kids, and then the kids are so creative. They are. Super they really creative. are. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Like, how are you doing it with like COVID? Is this a whole class? Or yeah, this is like, one one class. One class, and then so they, then they move as a unit. Yep. To each so we pod special. the kids with like specials, recess. Smart. Smart. Uh, just to try to, you know, give Minimize. them as much yeah, mm -hmm, absolutely. as much as possible. Yeah. Oh, perimeter. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's math. Woo! <laughs> okay, so let me ask you something. How would you find the area of an odd shape like this? Do you know yet? Length times which? Length times width. You're right. That is the formula for area. Very good. I'm just glad she asked you did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job. Shelly, can I show them your room so they could see your flexible seating? Oh, sure. Your flexible stadium I'm seating? There at the moment, but have to, no, I know. Happy to let you we'll up. Up. Okay. <laughs> it gets higher as it goes back. Oh, yeah. fantastic. And it's also still spread out, socially yeah. distant, but yep. the kids still have the different levels. Well, and they get to have some, you know, autonomy of where they'd like to sit and how they like to, do they get to change they up like a to bit? Learn. They do. We, we change it once a week. Oh, okay. That's so they, it. They come in on, in, on Monday and um, choose where they're going to sit. And so... I bet Monday mornings are here early. They are. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all like a, just super excited. They're That's right great. on top of things to, great. to get to do that. So they, they, the voice and choice piece, right? Yes. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so they're getting ready to do their book club yes. um, selections. So they are able to kind of work together yes. in a small group. That's yep. awesome. And they have conversations about the book and kind of look at the themes of the book and character traits. Wonderful. And this is kind of very common uh, in a lot of our classes. Mm -hmm. What book are you guys reading? What's Horrible Harry and the Ant Invasion. And what is this about? It's that about that there's a kid named Harry. Okay. And, he has, and he's okay. the okay. ant monitor. He has to take care of the ants. So is there a connection you can make to ants in Texas with the ants in this book? What kind of ants do we have here that, that we bite? We have bullet ants, we have sugar ants, yep. we have normal ants, we have fire ants. Yeah, those are the ones. Those are the, those mean guys, aren't they? Oh my gosh. I've never seen bullet ants or sugar ants. I've seen sugar ants, but I've never I seen a bullet ant. What's what's different about a bullet ant? Well, bullet ant, what? if you get bit by a bullet, it feels like you're getting shot by a bullet for Oh, hours. is that why they're called that? Yeah. Oh my. I think one thing that I realized early on when I got to Laura Bush is a sense of community. And I think that's what really drives people to want to be here. Um, and there's a balance as far as what our teachers do in the classroom. They really take care of the academics piece, but they also look at the um, social and emotional aspect for students to really give that balance a whole you know, child experience. I just want to say thank you to the Bush community for having me today. What a wonderful visit, and I'm so excited to come back when I can see all these smiling faces. <laughs>